Today we're discussing the use of semi-recumbent positioning. Are there any other benefits of maintaining the head of bed position at 30 degrees or greater? Yes. In addition to its role in preventing pneumonia, head of bed elevation is known to improve the efficiency of ventilation to the lungs, especially the basilar segments, and to decrease the incidence of atelectasis. Furthermore, in traumatic brain injury patients, elevation of the head of the bed is crucial to minimize rises in intracranial pressure and to optimize cerebral perfusion pressure. Dr. Wilms, are there any regulatory or quality implications? Yes, for example, in the U.S. now, days of elevation of the head of bed to 30 degrees or more in ventilated patients is a recognized quality measure of the Joint Commission on Accreditation of Healthcare Organizations. Well, this sounds easy. It should be pretty easy to keep patients in a semi-recumbent position, correct? It should be, but unfortunately, despite the compelling clinical rationale, Several recent studies have demonstrated a fairly low compliance with maintenance of patients in head of bed elevation while mechanically ventilated. Some of the reasons for this include the frequent need for placing the patient supine for turning or other nursing uh, interventions, and sometimes we simply forget to return the patient to the semi-recumbent position. A number of studies have documented the effectiveness of visual cues in increasing compliance with standard of care nursing procedures, including maintenance of the semi-recumbent position in mechanically ventilated patients.